Okay, all you messy geeks out there, we've got a product just for you. And no, it's not a condom. Okay, let's have a real quick look at the box. As you can see, it says Arctic MX Cleaner Wipes for removing thermal compound. And as you can see, there's 40 packets of thermal wipes, not condoms. Don't get mixed up. They do look like it, but they're not. On the back of the box, you've got a QR code and some writing in different languages as well. On the side, you've got some barcodes, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Now inside of the box, all you've got is obviously 40 of these MX Cleaner packs, which is pretty straightforward. Languages on the back, tells you when it was manufactured, and it's got a rip portion there, so you just obviously rip it to open it up. Once you've opened the pack up, obviously, you'll get the wipe inside. So we'll get the dimensions for you in a few seconds. But there you go. So it's a pretty standard wipe. I'd say it's probably 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres without getting a ruler out. And it's got a very citrus smell to it. And that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. You wipe it, you, uh, your CPU or whatever mess you've made with your thermal paste, use that, wipe it off, chuck it away, and away you go. Okay, so we've made ourselves a really messy CPU. It's got about three different types of paste on there, from Arctic Silver to MX5. There's some Akasa stuff as well, as well as some Noctua on there. So we're going to see how easy it is to clean this off with this rag. So I'm just guessing we just put the rag on and run it across and away we go. So let's have a look. Well, one swipe and it's nearly cleared it straight away. So let's fold it over so we're getting a fresh corner. So yeah, that's cleaned that pretty good already. Just one pad's enough to clean the CPU. Obviously, you'll need to get down the corners, which can be a bit of a pain. So you'll have to probably take the CPU out of the socket. But as you can see, you can easily clean it there. It's easy to do and it comes out nice and shiny. And then you can put some more thermal paste on. You may ask, why should I clean the CPU, put fresh paste on? Obviously, CPU paste or thermal paste can dry out over time, especially if you've got a hot CPU or it's not well looked after or it's just been a long time. It can dry out, which can then uh, cause your CPU to get even hotter because it doesn't make perfect contact or good contact, shall we say, with the cooler. So clean it off, getting some new thermal paste on will do wonders for it. Uh, bear in mind there's lots of thermal pastes out there any is better than none but we found that consistently good ones usually come from arctic there are others out there we've reviewed them in the past just to have a look